Welcome to the GPS PhotoLink Attribute Editor video. In this video, we'll show you how to modify attributes or data associated with each photo. These attributes can be used in the watermarking and output settings to annotate or describe your photos. So I have a sample project open, and to get to Attribute Editor, you just click on the Attribute Editor tab. When you get here, there are two tabs in the Attribute Editor, the Attribute Editor tab and the Map tab. This video will focus on the Attribute Editor tab. A different video will show you the Map tab. To see the attributes associated with the photo, select the photo, then all the attributes associated with that photo are shown on the screen here. The attributes are grouped into sections. I can collapse the sections down to show you them. There's a photo section, linked attributes, which are attributes that were put into the photo by the geotag wizard, GPS information from the GPS in the camera or from the geotag information, memos which are 20 freeform fields that let you describe more information on the photos or memos that came in from a Rico camera, and then camera data. This is data associated with the camera itself such as flash. I can expand all the sections again. So here's the photo data. We have title, subject, comment, description, date, time, and the file name. Linked attributes again are attributes that were put into the photo by the geotag wizard. Then I can scroll down and see the GPS data. Here we have latitude, longitude, elevation. The memo data, which we have none for this photo. And all the photo data it tells you the make and model of the camera, exposure time, F number, aperture, and focal length. All the fields with blue on the right side are editable and you can change their values. To change a value, just select the row, type in a value, and then that data will now be associated with this photo. If I select on another photo, I'm seeing the data from that photo. So I can type in and attribute data about that photo. For the title, I can select all the photos using select all and now it shows me my title is none. Subject it shows as varies because some of the photos have different values for each of the subjects. So to change the title for all the photos I've selected all and now I can change the title. So now if I select each photo individually they all have the same title but different subjects. You can also change the position of the photo by going to the GPS information. Here you can edit the latitude longitude directly. For instance, if you know the exact position of the photo, you can actually modify it in here and change the actual latitude longitude of the photo itself. You can also change the altitude and photo direction as well. If you need to clear the changes you've made, you can select a photo and click on Reset Data. This button will clear all the attribute data that you've entered and revert the photo back to the original data. So if I click this, now all my data has been cleared. These two buttons up here allow you to adjust some of the values in the attribute data. At Offset Locations, we'll take a distance and direction and compute a new point based on that distance and direction. This is useful if using a laser rangefinder, for instance, along with your camera to compute the offset location of the object you're actually taking a picture of. So you can click Add Offset Location. And what it will do is, by default, calculate the offset from the photo direction and offset distance that's in the attribute data. Or you can select different fields that hold the direction and distance and use that to calculate the offset position. You can also adjust the photo direction. If, for instance, you were taking photos out of an airplane, you can select all your photos, click Adjust Photo Direction, and you can add 90 degrees to all the photos so that the direction will be off the side of the airplane, not the direction the airplane was moving. 
That's it for the attribute editor video. Thank you.